What's up, everybody? Hi. I have to wait for um, her to say it. I'm sorry, it was a delay, but Fran yeah. has to say If I try to say my name first, then it's a the whole thing. So. Oh, exactly. Hi. So, hi, you guys. Welcome back for another episode hi. of More to the Story. I am Farron Moore. I'm to hear more. And, and, uh, and, oh, and, and this is our, <laughs> our loverly guest, <laughs> Patrick. Cloud. Like I'm, just, I'm just Red here. Tip. I'm just here for that. Obviously, you see, I have no control on this goddamn show. <laughs> I like that though. I have no. That's hard, fucker. <laughs> bro. I don't know what the topic <laughs> is. She does all the research on the topic. Sometimes the guests know. I never know anything. Everything. Would you like to know? I would. I'll text it to you. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> topics. Girl, fuck you. No, no. This is actually. Uh, this is cool. I, I like having the, the topics just come out come out of nowhere. Oh, you know okay. what I'm saying? Just right at your face. Do you guys have any like like jingles? Jingles. We don't, but if you want to sing, we won't stop you. <laughs> so, like, okay, y'all want a sound bite or something? Yeah, let's do so, it. What we got? Get it. More to the story. Uh, All right. Hey. Uh, More to the story. I'm feeling kind of sporty. Uh, you thought I was going to say horny, oh. but I just jacked off. Oh, <laughs> boom, that is. I don't know if you could use that. But I just jacked <laughs> I told you, Yo, I don't think you could use it. I know what we can use, but <laughs> eat me out. Eat me out. <laughs> eat me out. <laughs> Eat me out, hashtag oh, 2022. Eat me out listen. all 2022. Chronicles of Tiny Boat. That hey. was a great day. That was a fantastic day. <laughs> this I mean, year is all about the legs over the head. Eat me out. <laughs> eat me out. Ladies, don't be don't be denying that man that pleasure, man. Eat that dick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> eat me out. That's my whole slang for all 2022, man. Mm -hmm. I'm telling Farron every me day. Out. Eat me out. Hashtag Text me to her, what's up? What's poppin'? Gooch, gooch dessert. Come on, man. What's going on, man? Gooch dessert? Gooch dessert. Mm. Yeah. Eat me out with the gooch as the dessert. Yeah. <laughs> Put a little let's cherry on it. breaking these balls real quick. Shout out to eat me out. This is where we, is where we start. Oh, I my like this. God. <laughs> <laughs> Only uphill from here. <laughs> Kat J says she walked in on the wrong moment. Nah, you posted no, me. No, that was here. perfect. Perfect timing, Kat. Yeah. Hey, you could have been anywhere in the world right now, but let's, you decided to be here. Hey, man. Let's, now, emo. let's change the, 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 the meaning of emo. EMO. Uh -huh. That means something. That's something yeah. out. Oh. Emo. Emo. You feeling emo? Emo t shirts coming. Let's go. I'm, I'm, yeah. out. I'm, I'm my feeling neck. emo. E you know, out. I like to turn everything mm -hmm. into a tattoo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get it tatted. Oh, my God. Hilarious. Neck. It says emo. They're like, oh, she's emo. deep. No. <laughs> <laughs> Eat me out. Nah. Eat me out. Eat me out. <laughs> we got to get that as a sound bite. <laughs> Do you put like periods in between? I like, feel is like it this E dot M dot? Be oh, no. Eat me out. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's, that's the name of this episode, obviously. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Eat me out. Hey, okay. You I see the saying? views already. Oh my god. You know what would be crazy though is that we if we did a boat ride with like some of our supporters, like they they. I know people see us and be like, oh man, y'all live crazy life, man. We be regular people and shit. We just be doing shit like we. <laughs> We just decided, hey, let's go on a boat. Crashing let's boats. Let's go on a boat. Yeah. Regular shit. We got we had shipwrecked a, on a pontoon. Crashing boats. We had a boat. cooler full of mimosas. <laughs> we got 10 bottles of mimo uh, of champagne and a half a bottle of orange juice in this cooler. And we were just, just having a They had to send time, the dive man. team to come get us. <laughs> oh, okay, shut the fuck up. No, I didn't even realize Pat had posted the thing. Yes, I was so... he posted it. And I... I'm over here. I was like, ah, oh, should I post it? Should I post it? And swipe it through the next day. I was like, fucking Pat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I was well. I was smart enough to record and wait and be like, okay, is he go, are we gonna get in trouble for this? And then I post. <laughs> but I, a part of me almost wishes I didn't, cause the myth. I could have said anything happened. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I could have said that we were floating on a door. <laughs> Listen. Yo, I never... yesterday, though, <laughs> our, our friend's mom is in town, and she was like, wait, so y'all crashed? What happened? She was like, well, how did you get out? I was like, girl, all of us had to get out the boat. We had to push it to the shore. Um, See, that's so much more fun. <laughs> if you watch the video, it doesn't look that bad at all. It was helicopters surrounding us. They had to let the ladder down. <laughs> a couple people climbed up. We shot yeah. flare guns. It was like, It boom. was a mess. We was just out there, <laughs> out in the ocean. We, we had to leave some people was behind. was land for miles. <laughs> there was a weight issue. We had to leave three people behind. They never came back. We still haven't heard from them. It's a search party out right now. That's why I'm a loner. That's why I be doing shit by myself. 
Because when I try to include people, too. you know what I mean? When I try to include people <laughs> and something, you know, goes just a slightly array. Not but completely you crashed out of it, though. Not completely. But it wasn't right. even really a crash. It was more of a, uh, that's all it was, my it was nigga. Like it, what? Right back. Uh, it was just a hip up real quick. Not even a full one. You heard me say up. So that ain't it even a full. It the whole front oh, on the you boat came off. Back. By the time everybody got out of the boat, the boat raised up on its own. It, it didn't even need to be pulled. It was just how weight works. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so we didn't even need nothing. And making it seem like it was a whole team and all of it. It wasn't. It wasn't One anything. boat came and then he couldn't do it. Then another boat came. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. That's like saying the boat flooded, but as soon as I got all the water out the boat, it was fine. No. It's like, but that was the problem. No. <laughs> that was said issue. I'm from uh, Australia. My name is Sydney. <laughs> It's a little on the nose, don't you think? <laughs> there was so many quotables from this damn boat trip. Oh, oh my God, I wish we would have recorded that. That shit, yes. that might be the new Patreon thing <laughs> now that the tour of boat blogs trip. are gone. It's just like, Tiny did the boat, boat trips or... Just adventure days and just record the whole thing. Yes. I wonder if they would let you just like, I mean, it's not, they, you can just Imagine go out five that, minutes. Yeah, yeah and I'll then fit just that bitch with like five, GoPro uh, yeah, five GoPros or something. Man, that, that would be was, funny because that was, that it was, was a, so many that was jokes time. had. Was, that was a oh time. Oh my gosh. Oh, let man. me tell you, let me tell you this. I this, love, this <laughs> Ferris' cousin came to town, right? Oh Lord. And he was telling me how he wanted, he, he went to go see Teddy Ray a couple years ago. Oh God. And uh, I'm like, all right, man. You know, he's like, yeah, I didn't. Uh, I didn't get to meet him because people started guys showing. I was heard like, this oh, story. shooting? Yeah, at the, at the place in yeah, Texas. I know exactly but who you're talking about. Where, he, where this is it? Yeah, so I say, like, you know what? I invite Teddy over. Look, this is what we do. We invite some story. people over for mimosas. You come over. You know, we just have a couple people over. So he's, my idea was, I mean, you so seen Jack up. Reacher, right? He's so the first up. one. So in the first one, the guy was trying to kill one lady, but to to mask it, he killed like six people. Right, so that's why I said I invite Teddy over. I don't want to seem weird, you know. Hey, man, this is my wife's cousin. You know, shake his hand. All right, man. All right, bye. What was what was the intention? Because he wanted to meet Teddy. Yeah, got it. So okay. I invited like a couple more people over. Oh, people that's that smart. Was, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we 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 go wake up early, we clean up the house, we go buy buy twelve bottles of champagne. We were just running back, right? Having a good time, good conversation, all this type of shit. My fucking cousin doesn't show up. This motherfucker shows up 45 minutes after Teddy's left. Teddy was one of the first people there. He was he was surprisingly prompt. This motherfucker doesn't show up. He's like, oh, we were at Roscoe's. And one of my friends hit me up. He was like, where are you at? And that was I'm the whole LA. point. This was the whole point, Pat. I could have stayed asleep. I could have slept in. I gave up my Saturday. How long and was Teddy there? Teddy was there for three hours, three, four hours. That First of all, know. shout out to Teddy. Because yeah. that... You, you, you exactly. got exactly what exactly. you got exactly what the guy would have wanted. But we we had a good time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that couldn't yeah. have been the it only reason. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was a great it was time. A great time. But in my cousin's defense, being from St. Louis, things traffic's not nearly what it is. I feel like he underestimated how long it would take to navigate L.A. So I mean, was it was he late because he was he, was traffic was bad or he just didn't that leave? was part of it. Like he he and his wife got up and went and grabbed something to eat because they were they needed to eat before food would be ready at our place. So I was like, yeah, do that. And so he ended up waiting, thinking he had more than enough time to like meet up with his friend, chop it up with him, and then make it to our place. And it then he was like, I'm headed that way. Traffic's a bitch. And look so it was like my, all these things. Face. Like he's thinking, look I can bounce from this place to this place to this place. Face. You know in what the he same amount did? of time, this is it what the would fuck take me did. in St. Hey, Louis. to hear it. My friend just hit me up. He was supposed to be here an hour ago, but he just got here. Is it okay if I bring him to the house so we don't miss what you originally threw this whole get-together for? He... Is that okay? Is it, is it okay to hear it? And I was like, I really don't fuck with a whole lot of people, but go ahead, bring him over here because I, I like, do this whole thing for you. And he was like, cool. But that didn't happen. First of all, I mean, this is her favorite cousin because she's taking this up. Your favorite cousin. This is her favorite cousin. Now, if this had been anybody else, like I don't this like I don't many fuck, of this my family members. Like, this is how I fuck with some I don't like many of my family members. First of all, but I really like this cousin. I mean, a, a whole party for two niggas to meet is weird, anyways. <laughs> First, second. I just realized it because I was like, where have I heard this story before? This has happened to somebody, and then I was like, oh snap, oh snap, to hear is 
the black Larry David. This was a full Curb Your Enthusiasm plot. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Really? That episode like this happened? Yeah. Yes. Stop. But That's I was like, I, further than that, I was like, he really is like the like the hood version of Larry David. <laughs> like obviously, I've never seen Curb a day of my life. Bro, it's I've every episode is about him getting uh, into the most well, awkward, awkward or worse situation that's just like I don't know. I tried watching it. it was his decisions or just the universe lead him into these incredibly ironic but horrible situations and it just keeps getting worse and he and, and that's uh, you you probably heard the song the boom 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 like the intro and stuff like that I just never sat down and watched because no the episode because the whole the whole every single episode is the same the whole it's always a build up until the most awkward part possible and then that's when the music plays it goes boom boom <laughs> boom and it just like sh- it just holds on what's happening but somebody if you guys... call me Lahir David <laughs> <laughs> Curb That's fans, Sherry, Sherry Bourne. If, if you're both fans of To Hear and Curb, you probably made that immediately. Like, holy crap, he kind of is. I mean, Larry David's never been like set on fire and stuff. Right. That's why it's like the hood black <laughs> version. <laughs> like, if 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 Larry David was a black dude in, in St. Louis, that would be the show. Listen, so <laughs> we had Arvin on the show this week, right? Mm-hmm. And Pat was like, "This is gonna be great." Like, cause get the the point of view of St. Louis or somebody else other than To Hear, because we always hear it from To Hear. It's like it can't be that bad. And it's like, so, right? It can't be that bad. And Arvin was like, it's probably yes. worse. Mm. Like, yes. it's, it is that bad. It is, it is that bad. <laughs> it is that bad. Where are you from? <laughs> Belleville, Illinois. Tell the truth, from Shane the Devil. But it's really close to St. Louis. She grew up in East St. Louis, where I'm from, where I got set on fire and kidnapped. Her, her, her dad so How dope romantic. to my uncle. How romantic. Her, it actually is. He proposed because... at the spot where he was set on fire. <laughs> no. You're probably wondering why we're in this basement. <laughs> <laughs> Will you... <laughs> <laughs> It's like, you didn't have to do any of that. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Why would I just... You could have hit the <laughs> ring in a... The ring was on White fire. White Castle double cheeseburger. And All been right. Fine. But you We're set yourself to go on fire. Go funky ass little did, show, man. Did you, did you know him in the White Castle days? No. Okay, that we was met, we, I knew of him, but I, we didn't know so each other. You knew of him? Was she, he, because, a no. A killer? We, <laughs> no, no, no. He was, he was at large. We knew, we knew a lot of the same people. I saw and his, I saw his we were So we would see each other in passion, not realizing who we were. With the girl okay. that said yeah. that I was the father of her son, she yeah. went to school with her. So she would her. see I me coming her. up yeah. to Belleville, get off the bus to mm-hmm. meet the baby mom said baby mama mm-hmm. and then walked to said baby mama's house to go get my son and then walked back to the bus stop. What, what grade? This is uh, 10th, 11th grade. Was there a lot of uh, students with um, kids? No, no, not like that. So from your POV, was he like the dude with kids that was like, no, had jobs and all that No, I had no idea stuff? why he was up there. I didn't find out until we actually started talking that that's why he was always at my school because oh. he was meeting his baby mama. I had no God. idea why. Because we didn't go to the same because school. Because and then we knew so many of the same people and people from, I actually thought you went to Eastside and kids mm. from Eastside that they would get out early, they would come up to my school Try to, to fuck see, on them like, to see good the kids up business. there. So Man. I'm thinking, oh, he, you know, a nigga from Eastside mm. and I didn't think much of it. I didn't even realize anything. We like, didn't our think families a lot of... went to the same church when we were ki- like babies oh, and everything. Been... Yeah. We were all around each other never, and never just knew. didn't know each other. Huh. And then we got of age. I was like, give me that box. Eat me out. <laughs> Shut the fuck. This was after high school? Yes. Yeah, we met in college, we met in, college in 2000. Yeah. Like, officially met in college in 2005. Oh, but yeah. it was like, oh, you went to, you were, I saw you at yeah. my high school and I saw you, you were at my church, all that stuff. Like, mm-hmm. even that part came up a whole lot later because I didn't realize that he, that was the same person. What? Like, that he was the guy that I saw at my high school. I didn't realize that was him for a, a while. And then when he started telling the story, it was like, because I met uh, him as a different name than the one he had then, than the one he used She met then. me as Bob Bob, as Bobby. No, I met you as Bob. I just as knew Bob. Bob. Yeah. And so, Damn. yeah, I just knew his name was Bob because I heard, I knew so people wait. who knew him. But <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, we were just always <laughs> around each other. Go. So, so wait, from, from Farron and, and everybody who went to that school... A young to hear would come by. He had multiple jobs. He had kids, mm-hmm. and and people would be like, "Oh, that's Bob." Yeah. <laughs> so in East St. Louis, a, a grown ass man. In East St. Louis, I was Bob. 
I was Bobby, Bob, Bob. I was Bob. In East St. Louis. Never Listen. met a Bob. I never met that a Bob. Was under 40. <laughs> I was. <laughs> At any given time. You are. Like, I you, was. You're like Bob. You hit 40, you turn to Bob. You don't just start you're Bobby. out as a Bob. No, you for sure Bob. I was an old soul, school. bro. I was drinking. I was drinking stag beer. I had a revolver on me. He thought that's like, why oh you didn't my, recognize oh him. God. He thought oh he was a dad. Oh my daycare, like my name's Robert, but call me Bob. Bob. <laughs> Everyone, all, thought, my, all my cousins had like nines. Like they like automatics. I liked revolvers. I always had a nice little revolver, like a thirty-eight special. You had it even at like when you came up to the school. Uh, <laughs> if I had time to stop and get it, but most times I didn't have time to stop and get it. Because he went I was, to a school with metal detector. Yeah, so I had to like leave my school, catch the mm -hmm. King's Highway bus to the Metrolink, catch the Metrolink to Fifth and Missouri, get off at Fifth and Missouri. This is, now I'm in a different state. I'm going from St. Louis, Missouri to East St. Louis, Illinois, Fifth and Missouri. Then I get off the train and then get on the Belleville bus and then ride the Belleville bus damn near to the end of the line to get off at uh, West Main. And, and go to Did Belleville you sit on the back of the train with like a fedora and like a... <laughs> <laughs> Did you have your walking stick <laughs> and an acoustic guitar? <laughs> in the pod. I was doing, I was doing al algebra. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do algebra real quick so I can get it over with before I had this looking kid. See, here was a grown man. I was a grown ass man. At bro. 11. <laughs> 14. <laughs> Same that thing. Is, that is Same wild. Same thing. Yeah. Okay, y'all grow up. Let's do this. Oh, I'm sorry. We 20 <laughs> minutes in and we ain't talking about nothing. <laughs> ain't talking about shit. Okay, so reeling it in for a... Reeling it in. Reeling it in. Um, reeling it in. Uh, we're going to jump into one of the, um, the winning topics. The other one we did, uh, we recorded... Shantae G's uh, topic for the uh, Waterfalls and Clap Cleats giveaway. Ooh, I love Waterfalls. <laughs> you know what we talking about? Hmm? You know what we talking about? No. Oh, bless them. Waterfalls is this, <laughs> uh, basically a lubricant for women. Yeah, it comes it's a lube, in the body and it has like, like an eye droplet. You squeeze it and they put it, insert it in them mm -hmm. and squeeze and it out and it makes it even this... And it's not, it's not it's looby. Not it's not sticky. your traditional looby. Yeah, it's not the oh, sticky. It's not like stuff honey sticky. It just, and shit. No, but it just makes it very loud. Yeah. Yeah. What does it do? It, it, like, it's it like a chemical it reaction? <laughs> just, it makes it very macaroni soundsy. Mo, it, mo, even more than it would have been. <laughs> yes. What's it called? Waterfalls. I want to try the this. The company is called... I'm going to put it in my um, box. Divine Secrets. XO, XO, I what think it is, say? on IG. You want to put it where? I want to... Uh, uh, put it in a, a woman and then have intercourse with it. You said in, <laughs> you said in your box at first. I just want to <laughs> eat me out. Eat, eat me, me out. out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what is this called? Anyway, Waterfalls by Chanel. Nope, I don't know where you got that from. <laughs> <laughs> who, who makes it? He said Chanel. It's like it's like um, cologne. Divine. I immediately yeah, um, Divine Secrets. Um, yeah, I had to try it first. When I when we first brought it up, like we didn't share the name because we were like, we got to try it first. And then uh, before I had a chance to try it, I got like 10 emails, about six DMs asking, so those drops you brought up, where were those? What's the name of the drops? What's the drops? And I'm like, just wait, shit. So Oh, so, okay. <laughs> so people don't know about it. It's a hidden secret. You heard um, it here first. But now, it, now it's out there. Now we put, we put it out there. Um, and you said clap cleats. Too, clap right? Those are the socks. The sex so socks. The Do you guys have those? Socks. Yeah. Yeah. Do they work? Are they cool? We got corporate all over our house. We so don't really, we don't. We don't haven't really, really needed need them. them. But I got some extra ones. I can use them. We they send yeah. a lot of. Them. That's yeah, just they a say, funny. Yeah. That's just a funny thought to know that you have extra traction. So <laughs> 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 I like smashing in my socks. I don't want. <laughs> I don't want, I want cold feet. <laughs> oh, okay, but back to this. Back to this. Um, is it V Cavassier? Cavassier V? I, it's gonna take me a long time to look it up. You know who you are, friend. So you suggested like a, a breakdown of different relationship types, and um, yes, that peaked and turned into a whole series thing. So we're going nice. to jump into it, and I'm also going to start off with a question for you, Pat, really quick. What's your definition of exclusively dating? Exclusively? Yes. Oh, I feel like that's um that's most people's uh definition. It's um basically that person does not um date or uh smash anyone else, right? 
dates are smash. Right. Yes. Pretty that's pretty simple. Yeah. Yes, it's it's simple. Simply, I don't put, really, I don't really, uh, simply, I don't yeah. think I fall in the category of like the people who consider uh, um, flirting or liking comments or uh, all that stuff like full blown cheating. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, then, what is your low bar for cheating? Where you're like, this is questionable. Like it's not like considered, or it is something that's like. The the bare minimum where you it won't make you leave, but it'll make you like raise an eyebrow. Or if you did it and got That's in trouble question, for it, you'll be like, you know what? I can see why you're upset. Everything simultaneously makes me raise an eyebrow and leave. <laughs> 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 Even stuff that's not that crazy. Because um, I'm insane. <laughs> um, he but... is self-aware, and that's very important. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, so you're basically saying like the, the bare minimum the that bare would make me minimum. question but not like freak out or, yeah. say, or say anything? Because mm-hmm. I'll probably say something. You're about to say, um, you can say something, but you know, like, this isn't a riff. I mean, it's a riff. It's not like, relationship it's, ending. Yeah, it's not a deal breaker, but it's like, huh. Something to make, yeah, go, huh, okay, mental note. Um, brothers, because, I mean, when is that ever a thing, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, when she's like, oh, that's just my brother, right? <laughs> It's like even even me, if it's like show me pictures, childhood pictures of you two together. Oh, <laughs> even if two and three years old under the Christmas tree, right? Show I'm me I'm still that. like he's trying to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he's playing the long game, man. Eh? Really? <laughs> <laughs> I try to see every every dude as you know Yo. what they're. I'll be like, I see what you're doing. <laughs> um, but um, I think that I think that the um, I think mistakes happen, but uh, intent. Is mm-hmm. um is the biggest thing, mm-hmm. so I think that the the bare minimum that's just like all right is probably like a consistency. If you see that like like something is like consistent, like they keep yeah like a, it's like a pattern, like they keep flirting mm-hmm. with this person or they keep doing something. You know what I mean? Like if it's just like one thing, then it's you know it's I'm not gonna immediately be like what what happened? You know I I just I don't like being that person. Even if I'm fully being cheated on, I probably wouldn't. <laughs> <do that. laughs> I feel like I'd be chiller just like you know. Um, Got a point to prove to yourself. Yeah, I, I just I don't think that that's fun to just be like in someone's phone and like you know FBI that's a lot, searching. That's a lot of work. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that is a lot of it's work. It's easier just to dip. Like you see it, you know what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing. Some some things right. don't even require an explanation. You be like, no, you want me to believe you and call my eyes liars? Uh, <laughs> no, you don't believe, bitch. Me or your lying right. ass eyes? eyes. <laughs> no, no, I'm not gonna believe these lying ass eyes. <laughs> um, okay, so it's, it's that's a, a good. A, you know. Oh yeah, that's it. Oh, exactly. That. I don't know, man. I don't. Okay, I don't like those sexual fruit videos because <laughs> because you, you if, really it like didn't, if it didn't do anything, I'd be like, that's fucking weird. Yeah. But I'd be looking at, it, I'd be like, turn this off. Why do I like this? <laughs> <laughs> Why is this doing something? I won't get a boner from it, but I'm just like, that kind of does look. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Turn this off. That's a that's a mandarin. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck am I doing? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah. Thank you for starting that. So we're actually going to jump into the the basic relationship where everybody thinks of monogamy, because not everybody really understands what that means mm-hmm. and um, how to address it when that ain't that ain't really the life you're trying to lead. So you can be honest with yourself. For your partner. This is actually going to be great because I don't think you know Pat's views on this. We might have to roll this into the next one because when our next guest comes, it's going to be yes. interesting to see her guest. But Pat. Can we have two hours of your time today? <laughs> yeah. Okay. We'll, okay. we'll pay you. Not a lot. <laughs> Not a lot. <laughs> it's the same as that, but that's just scary. Can we? <laughs> <laughs> Can I give you a Home Depot you, gift card? <laughs> if you give it, <laughs> if you, give it so, you gotta take it. <laughs> so Pat, Pat says he would love to like have like a nice house with his, you know, companion mm. and then like, uh, you know, just like like the driveway right here, this little walkway and then there's a, like another house on the mm-hmm. other side of the driveway and mm-hmm. that's where he stays or spends most of his time. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh. My example was the, the person I got that from, they lived on the same street. They just they were just completely different, separate things. But I mean, it could be, for me, it could be Santa Monica and downtown. <laughs> <laughs> it could be we do not have to share zip codes. <laughs> because, I mean, the, the thing that that really showed me was that like, 
not everybody yeah. is forced into this whole mold. Traditional. You know what I mean? Yes. And that's what, that's. I feel like that's yeah, the fall definitely. of every relationship because everybody sits at home and they're like, this is my perfect relationship. This, and they'll make a mold. And then everybody they meet, they'll try to pass through this. And it's kind of like how when you read a book and then you see the movie and it's never, never going to be same. better. Because it's, you're, you're, it's competing with your imagination. What the hell is it going to be? Your <laughs> ideal. That so, was like perfect. That so was perfect. People are like cycling through this like mold of a relationship and yeah. not really paying attention to what's custom for them. And the person who told me this, they, I mean, they didn't tell face to face. This is like a famous chef. But they were just like, I am big on personal space. So this is what I carved out because like what everybody else does is they'll be like, ah, it's time to get married. So let me just cut off all these things that make me happy and just like suffer right. in silence because this is how it's supposed to be. Supposed That's to be what the that? fuck I right thought. there. First of all, that almost ruined us for nine years. We were <laughs> operating. No, eight, like seven and a half years. Yeah. We were operating on the um, mainly me because uh -huh. Farron was we always made it to nine yet, sir. Farron <laughs> always was like, we can switch this shit up. I was so I'm I'm blinders I was on. Game this is all for I know. It. This is all I've seen. All my uncles that stayed married, this is how they did it. So I'm like, no, it has to be you like this. You know what? And I didn't realize it till today because part of my process on recording days, I call friends or whoever and I talk it out with them and uh, like and we go back and forth and it's like oh bitch that's a good point and you know I type it out or you know add it to my notes or whatever so today talking to my sister she was saying that very thing like it just you get so caught up in in what marriage is supposed to look like that you're not actually paying attention to what you want mm -hmm. and um damn it it was something else let's repeat what you said I had blinders on. I couldn't even see nothing else. All my <laughs> uncles that made it. I mean, they, he was they, they instant replay you know ready. Like, so I, I, I couldn't even see nothing else. This nigga is better than the NFL. Oh, that's what it was. So I told him. <laughs> she reviewed the tape. So I told him. I did. I did. So I literally, I, I told her. I was like, so it was for me, though I did have a desire to be married, I wasn't pressed at the time. Um, I was like, I was legit chilling. And for me... When I decided to marry you, it was more about just being with you, mm -hmm. and so that's what like, my uh, if main we have focus. To do this thing yeah, to be together. That was then my fine. main focus, and it's like, yes, I want to marry you because that to that like solidified my commitment to being with him. But it was the being with him that mm -hmm. was more important, not just being married. But y'all are too scared to talk to be like, is this cool with you? Because I'm, well, I'm so I'm here's kind the thing. Of some things the off. reason oh, you are I did it was because. <laughs> I knew how big family was for Farron. Mm -hmm. Her family is everything. Like, what music is for me on a <clears> daily <throat> basis, what family was for her. Like, her, her mom, her sister, and her sister's two daughters, and our daughter, they all stayed together at one point. Mm -hmm. Like, she really didn't, when she came out here, she Before wasn't... Before y'all married? Yeah. Oh, wow. She wasn't pressed to find friends. Because her friends was everyone in her household. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... I'm like, for somebody to give up their family, knowing what that means to them, and come out here and follow me, chase a dream that doesn't have a blueprint or a guaranteed success story. You're just like, whatever the no, contract is, yeah, I'll I'm do not, it. Yeah, I'm not going to move her 2,300 miles across the country to make her a girlfriend. Yeah, and like, fuck no around. Like, living girlfriend. So I'm like, I'm going to let her know I'm serious about this shit. And, and that's I why. couldn't disappoint my sweet Val like that. Yeah. Yeah, she's like, look, don't it's, do that. It's so cool. Like, it's, it's so funny, like, how two people can be feeling the exact same thing, but they just, it's just that one mislink of oh just saying God. something. Bro. Mm. And it's just like, everybody's just like, yo, for, years, for real, for you years, too? For years, Farron and I were here, right? <clears throat> and then like like six months, I'll be here, she's here, because she's trying to meet me where I just was, and then she'll be here, and I'm like, we were never on the same page, mm. right. because we were always one to two uncomfortable conversations from being yeah. on the same page. Mm -hmm. It took so many so uncomfortable much. conversations. And now... Because I never was like PDA person. Now it's like, come here. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's gross. There it is right there. Never would have did that never, on camera. He Ever. never would have. <laughs> he never would have. But also that was, that was kind of gross. All in her mouth I mean, with coffee breath. I didn't you know, think was... about the coffee breath. I should have put some <laughs> alcohol or something like well, that. Well, let me ask you guys something. Let me ask you something. Oh, okay. What would you say your main, like, what would you say your main focus is in, in your career, like genre-wise? What you mean? Like, okay, like, to hear, would you say it's stand-up or acting? Probably 
Probably stand up because I can get everything out that I want to say. Okay. I think I feel like I would eventually take on a role and do what everything I need to say, but stand up is how I get it all out. Okay, so even stand up or acting, okay. what would you say? Mm. I don't know. Probably this. I feel very at home doing this. But so almost like personality, yeah. radio, podcast yeah. type of thing? Okay, so... If stand up and radio slash podcast had been around for I don't even know the number of this two three four hundred years, and would you guys sign a con- like the first ever contract like a contract from like seventeen hundred for the stand up comedian back then or the c- podcast like would you would you sign a contract for your career that was that old and outdated? Oh, I know where you're going with this, and it's like fuck no. Exactly. Why would you? <laughs> because You'd be you like, you're going to have to upgrade some I of these said, terms. Yes, I just I just had that conversation earlier with my sister because I'm like, the origin of marriage or just romantic relationships has evolved so much. I mean, like, it has evolved so much since its indoctrination. When it started, love it, yes. wasn't even a thing in yeah, it. Yeah, like... <laughs> How do you introduce yeah. love Think but keep the right. same the parameters? Purple, like, it started so long ago, and it's changed so much. It was a business transaction to get property and to, to keep mm-hmm. to keep course. shit within the family and that kind of stuff. It was for business. So, like, how we introduce love and our ideal, mm-hmm. what yada, 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 but don't upgrade the terms. Yeah. <laughs> that is crazy Absolutely. to me. Absolutely. Man, listen, so. you, you back in the days could go... Three blocks over and have an entire new family. Different new family. <laughs> Just three blocks you over. You try that shit now. Oh my god! <laughs> you will Cameras get a, everywhere. You, you will get a dead. tweet that day. You <laughs> dead. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, just ask Tristan Thompson because he oh. show sure keep oh, fucking okay. I was getting like, I don't caught. Know Tristan, so. <laughs> Tristan, Tristan Thompson, Thompson is probably the most sloppy. Like, if, sloppy. if we're talking about being honest, sloppy. this is one nigga that should have years ago just straight up just been like, this is what this I This is what like I do. Exactly. Because this is how I am. But Ooh. him just like trying to, to cover his it up. Bro, like, at this point, I have to like, get his ass back at fronting. this point. I'm like, sir, I'm coming for your granddaddy, your daddy, your favorite uncle, your, your best friend. Oh, like, like you in the I, club. You in the club the same I gotta day. I got to get him back. I don't <laughs> want you to just be hurt. I want to ruin a relationship in your family. <laughs> Bro, That's like, and it's so crazy because, like, I need him to feel. if you look at people like Nick Cannon, Nick Cannon ain't with one particular person, but he also has children Pretty much, like, back to back to back. It's like, he keeping it real. Like hey, I this respect is, it. This is what I want to do. He's like, I thought I was dying. I am spreading my seeds. So what it's, have wh- you? Well, yes. <laughs> Some people are saying it and just playing dumb the whole time. Like, oh, uh, my bad. Right, right. But he's just like, no, I want 50 kids. I want an empire. I'm going to go to Egypt. We're going to make a sphinx of Nick Cannon like this. <laughs> <laughs> and it, he, he, was, he was straight up. He's just like, this is what I want. I'm building legacy. And I saw it happen. People were pissed off at him, every baby. And now like, every single baby that happens... People are just like, well, yeah, he, he said it. Like, what, what, <laughs> well, he already he already said it. <laughs> um, in classic, more to the story style, we got off the rails. But yes, classic <laughs> DIY ass too. <laughs> really, it's bound to happen now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's get into the definition of monogamy. Okay. So it's the practice of forming romantic relationships with only one partner at a time, as opposed to having multiple partners at once. A monogamous relationship is a relationship where two people date and have sex with each other exclusively. And they don't share this type of connection with anyone else outside the couple. There is romantic, sexual, and emotional exclusivity between them. Mm -hmm. And um, it actually, did you know that uh, monogamy is actually the kind of a new construct social like yeah a new construct as far as romantic relationships how new? like they didn't start that's not how they started out because think about um polygamy like you know it's 
that's been around for centuries. Mm-hmm. You know, a man, especially a wealthy man, right, would have multiple wives. Like that was the norm, or just you know, a man. Period. It's like I need all these wives so we can have a bunch of kids who can work. Like you know, so. Right. But yeah, so actually, just being with one person is. It's fairly new, fairly. I think that's beautiful, though. I see why people would want that. You know what I mean? Because it's like people, a lot of people are naturally jealous. Mm -hmm. And if you think about having a connection with somebody, they may not want you to do that stuff with somebody else. Mm -hmm. So I, I understand that. That's why when I talk about this kind of stuff, I'm not necessarily saying that my way is how it should be and everybody else is wrong, you know, for wanting kind of like the, the, uh, uh-huh. for wanting what everybody, like, I, I get why people want that, but it's just like, it's funny because like ever since I started doing Pat Geo and just really like learning about animals mm-hmm. and stuff like that, it's like we the only ones doing this monogamy thing. I was thing. just about to ask you, I was like, because of Pat Geo, I have a no, fact for you for animal real. things. Did it's like know? us wolves <laughs> and like a type of penguin. Canadian geese. Yeah. Canadian geese. Can yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course, um, Cam, Cam pigeons, knows all of them. Pigeons also make um, Pigeons? Seahorses yeah. do too, don't they? I think so, yeah. And but, that's beautiful. And I think there's like a, a form of also penguins, gorillas, gorillas, or did you already say penguins? Gorillas are... The but fact that we ran like, out of steam mon- before 10. <laughs> right. But this says monogamy is also a rarity among other mammals, with just 3% of mammals engaging in monogamy a- according to like a recent study. That's why 3%. I'm, I'm looking at all these tigers smashing <laughs> multiple people. I'm like, why Why they get to like, do it? Like, just think about what the Lion King, like nobody pointed it out, pointed out that the, the, the Lion, Lion King, King, that all those women were what? his. All, yeah. Mufasa's? He's like, yes. Oh, because Nala got a little shine and so, some lines. Uh, yeah, and Nala and Simba were like siblings. <laughs> I, 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 I think that that's, that's why it, it is how it is. It's like, it's not our fault. It's instinct. This is how we are. It's not mm-hmm. like we're just like, I want to smash multiple people. And I think the taboo comes from the fact that polygamy is mostly man mm-hmm. like Driven. favoring. Yeah. You know what and I mean? But the, I think that's, that's only... what gets people worked up a, a lot too, especially in this new social age. Like the of course though, this the whole polygamy wants thing, the guy works wants out blah, for blah, him blah, and all of that type of stuff. Because of patriarchy. Right. But I recently saw a post of this woman. She had two husbands and a boyfriend. They all knew each other, all did a photo shoot together. Right. Like, Listen, all around. Did you that's see what that? Ne- that? I haven't, but that's okay. what needs to be uh, less taboo is yes. the woman side of it because it's like mm. people assume polygamy is like one dude seven women and now the women are left thinking like dang I have one seventh of this person's attention and I feel like less of uh-huh. but it's like no the conversation should be like y'all have multiple people too because at the core of it it's not that dudes just want to smash a bunch of women that's the instinct part of it I think what comes down to it is that there are you can get different things from different people mm-hmm. you know what I mean to like fully make you satisfied. So it's like if you as a man give this to this this woman, but like somebody else gives it to you have to just be open to that or mm-hmm. else you can't expect her to be cool with you smash. You know what I mean? It has yeah. to be a two-way mm-hmm. street. It can't be like the whole like I am man, I have big stick, I have multiple <laughs> wives, but you guys cannot be with anyone but me. Which I get why a dude would want to try that. <laughs> right. But if it's not that, then it's not yeah. that. And it's not even like, like realistically, realistically you're gonna get you're gonna get that word at some point in your life. What realistically? Still, that does not say it right. You did. It was like four R's U L istically. No, Pat, that's just that's just that's just Pat, my. We don't all do my babe. That's just my We know slang, what he said. That's we know what he's drinking bro. a little beer, babe. Go ahead. That's because y'all ain't got no accent out here. Kelly said, "Without guts, like <laughs> we in the south, we slur shit, bro. We throw a lot of R's in there, right? We over like there. really we capital R. R's in the middle of our sentences." <laughs> 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 Capital R's and hard T's. Realistically, you pronounce the shit out those T's. A one man and three women cannot handle three women sexually. You, you, I don't, I don't. You show me a man that could handle three women who, like, thirty-five to forty, when their sexual peak is just mm, is rising. Oh, you can't do that. This should have been a transition to Blue Chew because I feel like <laughs> that, that, that is the good. that is the only time I'm like. I could, I could do it. I could do it. I could, I, I could get jumped right now. I think I'd hold my own. I, I've been smashing so, Farron on some blue chew and doing my best, and she looked at me and told me to take another one. I was, I, it's, I, I another would die. pill? Farron can go. 
What's wrong with you? <laughs> no, don't Nigga. say him. What? How I am mean, who I am? You want her to take another him I... to take another pill? Shit, I'll take it. Fuck. She did. Like, she had that's taken not gonna, that's just not gonna to throw another dick though. Man, it's listen. The, oh, damn, I've never. That's that's very that's that, impressive. That's that, that's that sex craze when I told the first time I ate a butt was when I was like, oh, I need something else to do. But <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm very drunk impressed. And she be doing some stuff. I had to like stop the kid be, downstairs awake. I be tired, dehydrated, and still be like, come on, let's run it. Back. I only use Bluetooth let's when I want to show back. out and just leave them like. What was that? I've never seen someone like, yeah, take another pill. <laughs> take another, drinking Gatorade and shit. Yeah. It's about drive. It's about power. We stay hungry. We devour. Put in the work. Put in the hours. And take what do you know that? Oh my God. I wish the kid was here. Because she knows that fucking song. And I'm like, you weirdo. Why do you know that? And you fucking weirdo. Why do that's, you know that? Because that's, that's you. Yeah. <laughs> You're the rock. Yes. I'm gonna really start it on my back. <laughs> she really is. My blue chew consumption is the most on Tuesdays and random ass Wednesdays. It just be random. She 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 be like, hey, dinner's done, but before you come down, hella lat. What meaning blue chew? So it's like y'all are hella eating. Lat. You literally y'all dinners are like waiting for the boner. <laughs> Sometimes, you know. That's really you sound tight. Like, because uh, I have to, I have to hide time. these things. No, no, I, I, I ain't, I ain't having a hard time. Just like you know, he's fellas, like, look, save me. <laughs> you think you like to fuck a lot until you meet a woman that likes to fuck a lot, and most guys can't handle it. I like, like mm, ego and physically. I ain't gonna hold it. If I, if we fuck as much as. I would have to lose 40 pounds and drink nothing but water to fuck as much as she wants. Oh, she could fuck. Not saying she wants is it to. The, is it the amount of times that you want to have sex or the, 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 when you're having sex, how long it takes to, to finish or like how, not really, that's, no. not, that's not the question she just, I was asking. She really no, just enjoys, I just enjoy, enjoy I just enjoy having sex. But I'm, I'm saying, and is it like a, you keep wanting to have sex or it's just like, it takes forever. Good sex makes me want to have more sex. Oh, Mediocre so coming... sex makes me want to have more sex. Bad sex makes me want to have more sex. So regardless, there is no <laughs> not having sex in it. Okay. <laughs> so addiction. <laughs> <laughs> I was wait. So so wait. I'm I'm. Dang it. What, what what am I trying to ask? Is it like? Because I know I know that there are are, are women who just want to have sex a lot, but they they still like. Okay, that's maybe that's what I want to ask. You're not the type of person who like comes and then is like exhausted and just has to go to sleep. You're the type of person who comes and wants to like do it again. Yeah. Oh God, I'm sorry to hear. <laughs> oh, I hate that. <laughs> I like a couple times coming. Oh my God. I don't know why I keep using this specific. <laughs> you look like Peter Griffin. Griffin. <laughs> but it's out. just like, oh my God, what was that? <sighs> you know what I mean? I don't want like just if came late enough, making a sandwich like you and ready I'm, for I'm like a kid like you have to tire me out if I had a long day then at once and I'm, I'm out but oh, if man. I didn't do shit today and this is the shit that I'm doing so you're literally then... like those puppies that get walked for an hour and a half and then they get home and they're still like more stuff and you're like yes I just we just, we just did, did all did the stuff, stuff. <laughs> and we let me tell you something that was also a part of <sighs> our disconnect and that was a that was a that was a difficult conversation because as a man I felt like I couldn't measure up, not realizing that she just had an insatiable like <laughs> appetite for sex and she had to like, you know, say, Okay, that's enough. Right? Like that's reasonable, it's the end of the night. That's you how it work ends? Out of, like no, but that's that's a conversation we had to have to like <laughs> because it was so Tad, when I tell you her hunger and I felt so inadequate, I would I would stay downstairs on the other room and wait until she fell asleep because I couldn't I couldn't I didn't think I could manage up, but it was it took conversations getting to the point where like, all right, well you know I'd be tired. She'd be like, oh, I, I didn't get that. I just pictured to here exhausted and you getting the towel, like hey, <laughs> you, you all right? That does happen. Clean your Yourself Clean up, yourself. <laughs> She'll go get me a cup of cold water. Be like, you good now? And she oh, starts I'll stretching. I'll fill up my water bottle beforehand, and I'll be like, here, this is for you. She starts <laughs> stretch, hydrate. <laughs> Tears, mascaras running. <laughs> <laughs> His hair is off the shovel. Fran, be like, <laughs> listen, there are like, <laughs> times Fran be fucking me. I had to grab a towel and I bite think, down on the towel. I think we, I think, <laughs> I think us at the More Mob as a as a unit. 
figured that out that you be getting fucked. I have a bite down on the top. <laughs> she, she be sending Zoom. You making it seem like you don't enjoy it. No, I love it. <laughs> Like, I have it's to say that because when I, she's looking at this is, me. This is why he'd be teary-eyed on squ- when Squadcast be starting. And he's, he'd be like, y'all ready to y'all ready to start? Because Farron be fucking him and be like, right, My life start, force. Start your, start your Zoom call. And he'd just be so trying many, to get himself together. So many Squadcasts, I have filmed Winnie the Pooh style. I'm talking he about just flushed. ass on my, my office seat. No draw, just bare ass on the office seat. Just Everybody just, in oh, this chat bear. has gotten on a Zoom chat and act like they just didn't get fucked. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody in here, that is a that is a common thing since 2020. The yes. whole, I, I'm trying to act like I didn't but just wait, get fucked. I'm, 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 I'm going to tell you all the real, though. It is, hey, it, guys, what's going on? Like, once <laughs> once we addressed it, it was, it was, yeah. it turned on, it turned away from being an ego thing. It was like a turn on thing. So, like, now it's like, well, all right, well, what's the most random time we can get it on? Like, she was literally on the phone with her sister, the other day, and I went down there with like a tote bag with towels, <laughs> tote bag of goodies, speakers, lube, everything. Um, knocked everything on the he couch, knocked everything because the couch is yeah. sweet. She rides the best on the couch because there's something about me sitting up and then her being there. Everybody to grab know it. riding is better on the couch. On the couch that right? bed shit. Wet. So knocked everything on the ground. Uh, set the towel down, pulled the lube out, had another towel for the lube when it gets on your hand after you put it everywhere. You got to wipe that off because you can't fuck with This is a nice couch. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're just chatting with your sister. Yeah, yeah. The whole time, and I'm just looking at him just move stuff. So and I he take just, her like, phone. Swept a bunch just, of shit on the just, floor. Just in the call, no letter, gonna say goodbye, nothing like that. Sister tries to call back. And now I was like, get your ass on this dick. <laughs> right? So now it's about embracing it because, like, we just didn't have that comfort. I didn't have that comfortability to talk to her like that. Because I had the traditional mindset, you can't do that with your wife, you can't talk to your wife like that. Mm-hmm. When we're in sex mode, when I'm fucking what he Sebastian, says to me now. Oh, yeah. When I'm Sebastian, I walk in the room, like, while she's watching TV, hey, suck this dick. You gotta switch that up. You no, gotta, man. You gotta change the name. Sebastian. 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 We go way back. Me and Sebastian, Sebastian go Sebastian way back. Sebastian, when I had my locks, that's why I would make her call me Sebastian. Me I would and Sebastian go way like back. That. Sebastian ain't going nowhere. Right, ain't nowhere. <laughs> Sebastian <laughs> fucked the shit out of Fifi. You understand <laughs> me? Did you call me Fifi? Oh, no, I've been fucking the shit out of Fifi <laughs> when I'm Sebastian. Sebastian. Wait, oh, you're Fifi? I'm mm-hmm. Fifi. That's a, that's a cool porn name. Sebastian is just like... <laughs> Under the sea. Nah, man. <laughs> Sebastian, the sea. And when I think of Sebastian, I think of somebody with long hair with hardly ever having a shirt on, like ripped, and just always in this oh motion right God. here. <laughs> Well, that's you're just, not ripped, even when you're Sebastian. You can nah, call yourself Sebastian all hey, day. I draw all hey. my abs, so fuck hey. you, okay? He never has um he never support. has <laughs> support like this. You got that right. He never has like a goon with him. No. <laughs> this, is, no. this is making me make fun of to hear less, actually. <laughs> Man, every time you try to say, like, hey, nigga, no. keep on, your balls on, on that right, right, side. Right. Yeah, Not yeah, up right. in here, Pat. My bad. Forgot. Okay. Forgot. Right. Forgot. Forgot. Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. That's you, funny. Of course. You I know like I don't the, play. I can I feel, say whatever I want. I feel like my imagination <laughs> runs too wild. Like, I would, I would be a, I would be scared you were having like a, like, or, or they were having like a convers, like a weird conversation. Or like a deep conversation, somebody like just passed or something, and I'm just like, hang up, like yeah, get on this thing. They're just like, my dog just died. <laughs> <laughs> no, he can tell what type of conversation. Yeah, it was. they were laughing and joking and going back and forth. One talk about shit. Boom. One time I shit. Okay. But this. That's dick, exactly though. what he said. So I was like, I was talking to my sister. Y'all want to talk about shit? I was like, oh, hung God. up on that shit. Was like, eat me out. <laughs> Eat me out. Eat me out. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Um, so Girl, just real quick before, because we didn't get to what I wanted, but we already said it's going to be a series, so stay tuned. Um, But I do want to point out what people get confused about monogamous relationships, and it didn't dawn on me until I was actually looking into this, was that they try to use the words, I mean, the definitions for people in monogamous relationships, a lot of the times, like the definitions of the words commitment and, ex- and exclusivity civity are interchangeable for them. And they mean two totally different things. And I think that's the problem. Exclusivity and what? Commitment. Because you can be committed without being exclusive. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And you can I, be no, exclusive I, I, I and not be saying. committed. I fo- yeah. Wait. You could be smashing somebody exclusively or even dating someone exclusively, but you're not really into it. Because a commitment is a, is a difference. Just, it's not just you're not. It's not just a physical thing. It's, it's more than that. 
you could be committed by default just because you ain't met anybody else. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So you're not you're not committed to the but is that the committed of of if, of committed so or exclusivity? Let me, I'm gonna give you all the example that's here so you can get it. So I'm gonna read the whole thing verbatim. Many people equate the word commitment with exclusivity, but those terms don't mean the same thing. I personally have several commitments. Work, family, friends, pets. When I say I am committed to something, I mean that consciously, I consciously choose to build a relationship with that person or area of my life. Exclusivity means that I chose to only have a relationship with that one person or area. You can be committed to a partner even if you're not exclusive to them because you wake up each day and choose to nourish your relationship with them. Exclusivity isn't really a prerequisite to commitment. In fact, because I am committed to multiple fulfilling relationships, I am more fulfilled and supported. When I am more fulfilled and supported, it helps me show up better in my partnership too. Did that help? Yeah, I think that, <laughs> I mean, I think that that makes sense, but just like we got to repair a couple other yeah. ways of thinking around that mm -hmm. for that to make sense. It's, because it's a whole lot of like unlearn what you learned. Well, I mean, if you think about it, like for the common person, a relationship is just sex, right? Like, who are you having sex with? Are you having sex with other people? You know what I mean? It's really just comes down to the sex. There's connection in that kind of stuff. But when we're talking about like commitment and cheating and stuff like that, like, I feel like when... That's a very mature way of looking at it. And I don't see anybody really like on the younger side agreeing with that because mm -hmm. I feel like when you think about like saying, okay, I'm committed to this person. Like if a woman, let's say like there's this, uh, a fine girl, a bunch of dudes want her and he's, she's committed to this one dude, mm -hmm. but it's an open relationship and she smashes, like she, she, could, she could smash whoever she wants, right? Yeah. So some people might think like, the mature way of thinking of that is like, okay, yeah, she's doing all that, but she's committed to that person. Mm -hmm. But I think since sex is such a big part of the conversation, I feel like most people would be like, yeah, she's committed to that person, but since sex was the one thing that is the the most important thing, then all these guys had it anyway. So maybe that she's that, maybe that cuts into like the commitment part. Like no. a lot of people think of that yeah. as like like the commitment part is who you won't give yourself to, you mm -hmm. know? So I feel like it takes another level of maturity to to see commitment as outside of who you're mm -hmm. physical with because I feel like the best example of that is, like, these people who have um, someone on the side who is, like, cheating on somebody with them and that person is still, like, broken that they won't leave that other person for them, even though they are getting the physical part of it. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? If it was all physical, then it'd be like, well, I don't care. I'm smashing, you know? Right. But it's like, you see so many examples of these people who got that already, but they just don't have the commitment. So that's really evidence that's like, okay, it's clearly past just the physical. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people don't see it like that. Yeah. That's true. And you know what? That actually just, um, listening to Pat made me think of... Um, that girl, she told us so much of her business for us to have known her like all of an hour and a half. I like people um, like that. <laughs> what'd you say? I like people like that. But she was like, um, you know, my my man is in jail, but you know, I got a boyfriend that lives with me. But oh, then yeah, she was also like, you know, smashing other people. And it's like And it was it was but interesting she was because like, they know, like the dude I live with know I got a guy that's in jail. Uh, he got three years, I'm just waiting for him to get out. And, and my the, and guy the, in jail know about the dude I live with. Like, but one of the was, guys was very feminine too. Like she liked that about like they would go get their nails done together. And you know, I, mm -hmm. I, I don't know if he was fluid, but she was like he looked very fluid or he acted very fluid. And she was also attracted to that because she makes liked sense. that she could be soft around him mm -hmm. and right like, together. Like, she could probably have she could have another dude for that masculine part. Yeah, or that you know if she has like a bad boy thing. Like I think that's why it's important because. Different people might fulfill you in in different ways. Dudes, we do that all the time. You know what I mean? There might be it, it might not be as as uh, as as crazy as being just like fully masculine, but like uh, a dude who gets with a girl who likes the same sport that she likes or who plays video games. Like mm -hmm. that's a crazy bonding type of thing, mm -hmm. and that's that's something that that person may fulfill for them. But then they might just like get something from a girl who's just like, I don't like sports, I don't like, you know what I mean? Like yeah. that, that that sort of like that classic energy. Like it's it's really just about who gives you what. Yeah. And I like this, um, who is this, Jam Horn? 
That's why the find the relationship conversations are important, as uncomfortable as they might be. Mm -hmm. And even those make people sweat because they think define relationship means put a title on it, make some level of commitment when it's like, no, if this to you is just us fucking, then let me know what that is and I can decide if I want to hang in there for just us fucking That's... and chances are I probably do. But a lot of guys will shy away from that conversation because, because there's also it. a We're lot afraid... of women who will try to marry everybody they date. It's, it's, not, it's not just that. <laughs> it was like guys are afraid if we be too honest or we be completely honest with we'll you, scare away. We, we'll scare them away. Which is why a lot of guys have, especially in their 20s, have set through some bad sex and and push through some bad head. It's like, God damn, Shawty's eating this dick like a Mike and Ike. Like, I need you to do less of that. My more first, more charm blow pop. My less first, Mike and Ikes. My mer first fellatio <laughs> experience. I was a I was a, but a, a a ripe seventh grader. <laughs> um and I was I was ripe. I was getting uh I was getting hit. It's the first time I had ever been laid out. <laughs> And uh, it was it out. was it was terrible. Oh my god! It was teeth. Of course it was. Yeah. I, I said I I audibly said ouch a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> you know how bad the head is when you say ouch. How loud ouch. too? Ah. But I get it. She it yeah. was her first time too. She was probably like ouch. Okay, so now I know. <laughs> <laughs> Avoid the like, corner. Avoid. Right. I, I looked up. Um, <laughs> but it was it was it was like the whole thing was just like I'm getting head. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm part of this club now. Right. I'm going to tell people My about this. My pain is in someone's mouth. Right. That is cool. The pain. <laughs> we will sit through some bullshit. Mm -hmm. and I, I, the fear of, of never getting it again, never experiencing it again, so mm -hmm. we take what You don't want to ruin it, but yep. it's like, if you think about it, how we're talking about it now, if you guys really have that conversation and then you guys get through it, it's, it's thousands of times better than so it was better. with you guys sort of just holding your car and being like, uh, okay, you did that. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm gonna, you know what I mean? It's it's like yeah. a battle. <laughs> no, you got a point before? No, I was going to have you rap before I we was just off. about I to. I figured you oh, got it. Oh, thank you. Oh, um, oh, okay, so we got into a breakdown in uh, some very nice views of monogamy today. What we're going to do for next week mm -hmm. um, is talk about how do you decide what are the signs for whether or not it's right for you? And um, monogamy, how, po po monogamy, okay, monogamy specifically, because mm. I feel like people struggle the fuck with that. Well, listen, so, guys. This, yes, this has been another. Shut up. No, I was going to say something before oh, you said okay. that. And this is Sorry. this is like for people who feel like you have a traditional mindset, and this isn't really for you. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We're not trying to change no. anyone. What we're trying to do is it's help better educate, Make better it. educate, and help people that do feel like you know what monogamy just feels a little weird to me. I don't really understand but it. But it's taboo. And how do I talk to my partner or potential mm -hmm. partner about this? Like yes. the more you know. You that's know, the it. better you do. We're not like, trying to convince to make... anybody. We're not trying to, everybody fuck everybody. That's not no. our goal. What we want to do is take something and highlight it that has been swept under the rug and considered taboo in so many uh, mm -hmm. communities of color. And it's, it's, it, the reality is, with like Pat said, like how do you change everything else about this one institution but not this one major part of it. Mm -hmm. So all we're trying to do things. is just yeah. give everyone all the information so you can yeah. make your own informed decision. So yeah. don't feel like mm -hmm. we're trying to pressure you into this. We're not trying to conform you guys. We ain't trying to build right. no community. <laughs> we're trying to do anything. It's like when people started education. talking about gay for the first time. You oh, know yeah. What I mean? yeah, yeah, there was yeah, probably yeah. like a lot of people that were just like, holy crap, I, I, that's a thing? Oh, for sure. Let's talk about it. But then straight <laughs> people were probably like, you're attacking oh, you're, us. Yeah, now you're trying to convert <laughs> us into this. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like, no, we're just, just saying there's other stuff. Agenda. There's other yeah. stuff. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Okay. So, yes. Yeah. So this has been um, a great episode, actually. So I thank you, mm -hmm. Pat. I right. like this show. You got something coming up you want to tell people about? When is coming? Not next week. We got the next. Mm -hmm. So, what do we like to do next? Um, this one comes up. Patrick Cloud on everything. Patrick mm -hmm. Cloud. I, my my on release schedule is very random. It is very and spontaneous. Random. Yes. You forgot to plug your shirt, too. <gasps> my shirt, you guys. So, my hair is a whole mood. My hair is a whole mood. Same. I went to the um, the Black Hair Experience, the LA installation of it, and it was so dope. That's and a I posted things. Installation? Yeah, it's a um, like a selfie museum, but it's about black hair, and like all the little thingies for you to pose and be wow. cute and do things is this about was for black, black Hair. Black History Month. 
Um, that's why I don't out. know because this uh, nigga's just out because yeah, they have one dope. in Atlanta? Dallas, one in Atlanta, one in the DMV area, and I think there's maybe one in Arlington too. I just um, want to say but the yeah. fan went to this before it, it opened as an influencer. They reached out to her. They, uh, yes, on her the publicist own. reached out to me and invited hey, me. Hey, first so, one? First one. Come on. She's Thank taking you. those steps to, to retiring by yeah, June. I That's said, so dope. I said at the end of last year, I was like, I've decided like my number one. 2022 resolution is to move with more intention and to like more be intention. sure. Yeah. Move with intention. Like, hey, be you sure and you and Melissa and becoming like coming into this world and like embracing it has been awesome to watch. Yeah. Aww. Like I agree. for Thanks, real. Friend. And you guys didn't really like tag on to try to do what anybody else was doing. You were just like, I like doing this stuff. Boom. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's yes. how it should be. That's literally how every creator should be. That's yes, super dope. Yes. But um, check it out if it's in your area, you guys. It was super dope. Like, I legit genuinely had a lot, a lot of fun. And I got this shirt. And I was like, oh, I like y'all. I'm going to spend some money here. So I bought a shirt. I actually bought it. I bought the shirt. <laughs> they gave money. me a swag bag, and I still bought a shirt. Um, so, yeah, check it out. <laughs> but uh, this has been another episode of More to the Story. Dang, dang. Thanks. Peace out. Peace.